Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yashallah. Ko Halo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Baha Shimra Kachadash. That were honest to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water. To all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Zachana and the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, <laughs> there you got Jake out here. They get into trouble, and, and, and the first person they want to call on is sweet white baby Jesus, man, which is idolatry, you know? See, the scriptures talks about the true name of the Lord and it being basically a secret amongst the people except for those that he has awakened, you know, and the um, hopeful elect are going to get it. See, you got some people out here, they'll tell you his name is all kinds of stuff. They, they it, His name doesn't matter. He, he knows my heart and all this other stuff. So... This guy, he, he's in this, this huge circle, going into this deep prayer after being a complete nigga. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And what he's going to realize is sweet white baby Jesus is not going to do nothing for you. It's the Lord Yahweh that actually placed you in this position right here, buddy. It says, hot boy participates in prayer circle before turning himself in for Rico case. You niggas, young dudes, man, on Rico. And you know Esau Edom going to get you. You know, you know the guy, Esau Edom, he sets traps, man. The so-called white man sets all types of traps for you Negroes. You fall for it, man. You know? I mean, and, and it's all about the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Bashar because he is in control of all things and man's goings of Yahweh. But let's get some of it. It says Florida rapper, hot boy. And I mean, you know, you're already with the name. You, you're a hot boy. See? And they try to live those names out. You see, a name, a name goes a long ways. That's why it's so important that, you know, we believe on the true name of the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those names are, are, are real and true, and they, and they bring power. Names mean something. That's why back in the biblical days, you, 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 you would name your child something, and they would actually be that. You see? It's like the Lord's name is Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be. That's, that's the true name of the father. The true name of the son is Yahawashai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. That those names mean something. So when you get to screaming Jesus, you screaming uh, uh, idolatry, uh, just straight idolatry. Because the so-called white man has nothing to do with the scriptures other than being a wicked. The Bible describes him as the wicked. There's a wicked people on this planet. And they move through the the uh, the, the, uh, the spiritual demon um satan the spiritual demon satan he, he operates through these so-called white people that you see moving about the earth man they're the ones that write all these bullshit laws they're the ones that give you something like pride month they're the ones that want to teach your children you know what i'm saying that they can change your genders in preschool you see these are the ones that's out here you know um the fucking always at war always going somewhere and taking somebody's land taking the resources so on and so forth you know what i'm saying so names mean something man so this guy's name is Hot Boy, and he got that heat on his ass. <laughs> I, be, I bet you he want to be Cold Boy right now. It says, he turned himself into jail today after his bond was revoked in a RICO case. This morning, June 30th, the Orlando, Florida native was booked into the Orange County Jail. According to information obtained by X, um, XXL, the rapper recently had his bond revoked by a judge who ordered him back to jail. A video shared via the Orlando, Florida Nato's Instagram account shows him and several other people holding hands in deep prayer. Who you think they're praying to? Sweet white baby Jesus. We thank you, God, right now for the grace and mercy. The person says in the clip while praying, have your way, God. Oh, he's going to have his way. Yahweh is going to have his way. <laughs> Turn the system upside down, defending your people tonight. Oh, my. Move by your spirit, God. They not, See, they're not calling on his name. No longer going to jail, Father. What's his name? They knowing them in there and throwing away the key, Father. But God let them come out. Open the doors for black. Open the doors for red. Open the doors back for hot. In the name of sweet white baby Jesus. See that? They not call it. See, they, they, they didn't call on the father's name. But they call on, on sweet white baby Jesus. The video, which is, is at the bottom of the post, appears to have been taken in front of a jail. As there are large barbed wire fences in the background. Last day out, turning myself in, Hot Boy wrote. 
Yeah, hey, man. They about to give you that damn business, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut this a little short. I'm at um, the plantation here. Well, I'm going to pause it. I'll get back at it, though. Okay, so Salakia, let's get some of this um this video on this prayer. And you can see it's got a million point two, one point two million uh, followers. Um, it's got a uh, hundred and eight thousand likes. And hey, this hot boy, hey, he trying to um <laughs> he trying to stay out of jail in the name of sweet white baby Jesus, man. Let's see if this will play though. Salak, ah, Salakia, I'm in a vehicle. We thank you, God, right now for grace and mercy. Have your way, God. Oh, God, turn the system upside down. Defending your people tonight, God. In the name of Jesus, move by your spirit, God. No longer going to jail, Father. Oh, God, and they're throwing them in there, throwing them with their keys, Father. But God, let them come out, God. Open the doors, God. Open the doors for black. Open the doors for red, God. Open the doors back, God, for high in the name of Jesus. And anyone connected to these young men tonight, Father, bring back. Back restitution so for them, God. Oh, God, God, bring back, God, the, the love for the family, God. Bring back the unity, God, in the name of Jesus. We do thank you, Father, because sometimes jealous for having mercy on your behalf, God. But we realize tonight, God, that we don't need jail, God, for you to get our attention, Father. You can get our attention on this street, Father. You can get our, you will get our attention, God, wherever we may be, Father. Oh, God, you will call us in, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, and we just thank you for your hand being upon God, God. We plead the blood of Jesus over his life, Father. We pray, God, that your angels protect him, God, in the name of Jesus. Let your angels encamp around him, God. Cover him with your blood, Father. Cover his family with your blood. Yeah, enough of that. I can't even take no more of that with that name of... Man, look, the Lord's name is not no Jesus, man. There's no letter J as in Hebrew. The Lord was a, a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah, Yahweh. You see? They wasn't calling him Jesus, man, back then. Uh, the letter J is only 500 years old. If he walked the earth 2,000 years ago, how could his name be Jesus? And then the scripture describes him as a dark, melanated man with woolly hair with a deep voice. Where do you get this blonde haired blue-eyed white guy? And then you're hearing him over and over and over again. God, Father, God and Father, God and Father. There's plenty of gods out here, and there's plenty of fathers. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But they're not calling on the true name of Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. These names are very important, man. And, I, and I'm so glad that I came out of that Christianity. If you're in this truth, you should be super duper happy, man, that you are not a part of that, that, that idolatry anymore. That the Lord had that much love for you, man, because that's love. The Lord showed us real true love by bringing us out of those that, that idolatrous uh, 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 idol worship, so to speak, man. Okay, so Lockyer, yeah, I had to pause it a few times because I was, I'm at the plantation, uh, had to drop this Edomite off or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, just wanted to get back on it real quick, and I wasn't going to keep the lesson long anyway, I just seen that, and, and um, you know, when Jake get into trouble, first thing they want to do is get to hollering, you know, uh, Jesus this, Jesus that, and it's sad, man, there are people who don't know the true name of the Father and Son, but that's the reason why we out here, man, the reason why we do these lessons. Pray that they're edifying, you know what I'm saying? And, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to wake up those that he, he wants to wake up, man. And that's that's the bottom line. So we can't get around that. You can't beat yourself over the head. We just do the lessons. We warn the flock. We, you know, just do the best that we can, you know, by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And those that are going to get this truth, they're going to get it, man. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Because, you know, of course, we, we all want our families, you know, to get into this truth. We all want to wake them up. You know, once you come into this truth. You, you know, you want everybody around you. You're so excited to, to, to you know, to basically give it out, you know. We, you know, you, 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 you're you excited about freely giving this truth out, man, to our people. But, you know, they don't accept it, man. So, and then, you know, a lot of two-thirds are back on the planet, too, man. And I pray that I'm not a part of that count, man. I don't want to be a part of that at all because it's not going to be a pretty picture for the two-thirds out here, man. But, um... I wanted to go to, uh, what's that, um, I'm driving, so it's going to be a little bit bad on this gate real quick, so lock here. Yeah, so I'm going to be on the move in a sec here, but let me try and go into this Proverbs chapter 1. And, and this is, you know, this is, you know, goes off into wisdom calling, you see? 
And you you have to um you know make haste when the Lord gets to calling you. You gotta go ahead and and, and get with the program, man. Because it's only you know you get that window of mercy, you get that window of opportunity, and um you know you don't want to let that 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 door close, man. Because it only lasts for 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 or you know none of us know exactly when our time is gonna be up. Some people have a little bit more time than others, man. Sometimes, you know, you see uh, people, they, they, they're here to gospel for only one time, and that's it. Some people are here to gospel, man, for a few years. Then they'll wake up, and you know, but, I mean, it is what it is, man. I wouldn't, you know, it's not wise to waste no time with it, though. Um, let me see. Let me start at verse 22, Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. See, they, not, they don't want to listen. The Lord is stretching forth his hand. I also will laugh at your calamity. So the Lord is laughing at this dude. I will mock when your fear cometh. And, and see, his fear is that Rico charge. You see, when your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. You see that? So it's very important, man, to, you know, get with the program, man. Because it, there's, you know, um, GMS Orlando down there. That's out there on the highways and byways faithfully, man. So he has no excuse. I'm sure they, they done heard about the brothers, man. It says, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. See? And they're not going to find him anyway um, with that white Jesus crap. That that don't work, man. That don't work. And our people, that's one of the main stumbling blocks of our people is that white Jesus crap, man. Our people are really stunted by that. That's a main, main stumbling block of our people. And that goes off into um, the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. That's one of them um, curses with, um, you know, roughly paraphrasing. One of the curses is that we will be, um, we was, um, Worship other gods, basically, of wood and stone that our fathers, you know, never worshiped. See, our fathers, you know, they, they wasn't about no um, no no white man on, on a wood cross. They wasn't, you know, running around out here, um, you know, uh, uh, worshiping no damn, you know, in the Islam. And they, those are the two main religions that that's a, a, a real stumbling block to our people. Islam. And, and Christianity, white Jesus, Christianity. You see, but see the so-called white man, he's done with the Bible. He used the Bible for what he needed to use it for. And um, he got everybody all in order, so to speak, to follow them. And this guy is just complete damn wicked, man. He, he He's completely wicked as hell. Because see, they'll throw Rico charges at Jake. But it, the so-called white man, yo, them, all the shit they've been doing, all the thieving, all the uh, all the the, the raping, robbing and, robbing and pillaging. Well, see, this is a curse on our people, and especially the young men. And you can see this guy's gone, man. And you go out here looking crazy as hell with this one big stupid ass dookie blonde dreadlock on your damn head. You know, out here with all these goddamn demons on you, and you praying in the name of sweet white Jesus, you know, getting more demons put on your ass, man. But I just wanted to just touch on this. See, these niggas is all tough until till today today um you know. Get ready to hit that pen. They tough as hell until they get ready to hit that pen. You see? Put all kinds of wicked ass music out to destroy your people. And then you wanna you wanna pray to sweet white baby Jesus when things are are, are, are all going fucked up for you now. Here you go, you got a big ass circle. You see? That old, that old. <laughs> that Wednesday Bible study prayer <laughs> circle, man. You know, I don't, I don't want to laugh at the Jake, but hey, I mean, but the Lord says that he'll laugh at his calamity. And, he'll, and he he laughs through us. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, man. And we're in the last place you want to be is in jail, man, in these last days. Because a lot of these niggas, man, is going to be in there when the Lord come. A lot of them going to be in there when the Lord come, man. Straight up. I mean, it's sad, but I mean, that, that's not a place that I would want to be in the last days man i mean we're already imprisoned in our bodies we're already imprisoned you know just being on this planet in esau edom's kingdom
but to be a third time you three times a prison you in an actual cell too nah man hell no i prefer to be able to at least throw my backpack on my damn back and walk this damn earth man until the lord comes man live out of i don't know however the lord sees it you know but i just wanted to just touch on this man hey you need to repent while you actually have a chance and the true name of the father is yahweh which means that he exists where he is to be and the true name of his son is yahweh shai which means that he's the savior or deliverer in paleo hebrew man those are the true names of the father and son there is no no um no jesus man the lord was they was not calling our lord jesus man when he walked the earth man that is a stumbling block they beat that into us during slavery gave you a slave bible taught you a few scriptures and taught you how you know and told you niggas to sing and entertain each other and and just keep you keep you you know scared as hell that you're about to go into some lake of fire that's not true white jesus christianity is a bunch of bullshit man so with that i pray that the lesson was edifying kwame yashallah